Here we are hooked up to a 2007 Freightliner with a Detroit in it. Um, so we're just going to show you what this one actually is going to display. So we're already hooked up to it. We're going to move left to right over here. So I'm going to go over to parameters. And as you can see, it's picking out 36 different things. Um, it's going to give you what it's currently at. The red is the minimum. The green is the maximum since we've been connected to it. So there's a whole bunch in here, coolant level, coolant temperature, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Dashboard is gonna give you an overview of what's going on by system. So right down here now, you'll see all the fuel system things. We got fuel temperature, fuel delivery pressure. We'll hit next. Uh, this one's gonna give us a little bit more. It looks like with the uh, intake air temperature, looks like the EGR cooler, gas flow rate, yep and take a peek over here. Let's see if there's any more. Doesn't look like it. So it's like this one has the two different dashboards, which actually makes sense now that I read it. It says two of two. So I'm gonna click on faults. This one's got a whole bunch of faults. The yellow means, the yellow with the tri this triangle with the exclamation point means they are inactive. So this one has no active codes, but it's got a bunch of inactive codes. Um, I would simply, if I double click, It'll tell me how many times it happened, 17 times. If I go down here, um, as the um, icons over here will show you, there's different troubleshooting. So I will hit the little help on this code and it'll give you a description of why the code got set. And usually it tells you where to go to fix it. All right. The other thing it has in this one is the little icon here. So that lights up this guy down here in the corner. We'll click on that and it'll load up a diagram. So not only will it bring up a diagram, but we'll also show you and, and give you a big blinky of what is going on and what you need to go look at. So you have some wiring diagrams to go look at if you're trying to track down some wiring. ECU info gives us all kinds of information on the vehicle, including engine serial number, VIN number, model. <clears throat> we'll scroll down so everyone can see everything in there. Activations where all the good things are at. So people always want to be able to do injector cutout tests with any kind of diagnostic tool. This is a pre-DPF uh, engine, so there's no particular filter regeneration settings in here. But you can see there are a variety of cylinder cutout tests, including automatic ones that you can run at idle, 1,000 RPMs or any RPMs, and ones that you can do manually. So the automatic will go with one through six and try to figure it out for you. The manual ones are listed here. Delete errors would be to clear all the codes out of the ECM. And we will click over here on settings. So again, with the extra features to unlock these, you are able to change all of these settings on the engine, uh, which includes cruise speed, max road speed, uh, just, just a big variety of things in here that you can change on the engine. So just real quick, we wanted to show you on a 2007-ish uh, Detroit and a Freightliner, everything that's available on it. Thank you for watching.